I'm Allison Mikus. I'm a biology major and an art minor, and I'm reconstructing the life appearances of human relatives and ancestors. The project I'm working on right now is a human evolution exhibit for the Life Science Building. The specific species I'm working on right now is called Homo floresiensis. It's nicknamed the Hobbit because of its small size, but there's also controversy that this could just be a normal human with dwarfism. Since I was a toddler, really, I've been interested in fossils and anatomy. So being able to work on an exhibit like this has been really interesting. I like combining science and art because art helps you understand the visual aspect of science. Basically what I do is I look at living species, so humans, apes, and see how the skin lies on their skulls. I kind of try to look at different landmarks on the skulls, different protrusions or bumps or curves, and see where those same curves appear on the skull that I'm working on. The hardest part is making the nose, but also the facial expressions, because there's not much on the skull to tell you what to do for those. Especially the facial expressions, you can have so many facial expressions, which one do you choose? The skull doesn't have a facial expression, <laughs> you just gotta make something up. My favorite part of this project has been seeing all these different faces come to life. Before you just have a bunch of skulls, you can't really tell what they would have looked like. And then once I slowly put the muscles and the skin on, you can see all these different faces that I couldn't have predicted. Through this exhibit, I want people to realize that there's a lot of diversity in the scope of human evolution. There's a lot more similarities that you might have not been aware of, but there's also a lot more diversity than you might have not known about.